Some controversy at tomorrow's Aurora City Council meeting. One councilwoman has proposed a resolution for city leaders to apologize to the friends, family, and advocates of Kylan Lewis. He was shot and killed by a police officer in May, and as Denver 7's Ali Jennerjohn reports, an action week for his advocates starts tomorrow. Members of the Justice for Kylan Lewis Action Team walk towards the Aurora Municipal Center. I've learned in these situations that if I can feel, I can fight. I and they'll do it again Monday night with dozens of other advocates by their side. We want this council, the people who are leaders in our community, to finally bring responsibility and accountability to the table. The action team says accountability to them starts with recognition from city leaders and an apology after Kylan Lewis was shot and killed by Aurora SWAT officer Michael Deke in late May. They work for us and so if and when they make the decision to take this agenda item off, the community will respond appropriately. In the body camera video released by Aurora Police, Interim Chief Heather Morris directs viewers' attention to a black object Lewis pulls from his pocket before putting both hands in the air. Deke then fires a deadly shot to Lewis's midsection. The object in Lewis's hand later determined to be a cell phone. When Michael Deke shot Kylan Lewis in a posture of surrender, they should have turned to him and said, Michael, you have the right to remain silent and they should have taken him into custody. Monday city council meeting is just the start of a week of action for these advocates. Say his name. That will uplift healing that will peacefully allow for us to come together and use our voice and to ensure that the city of Aurora understands that we will not go away. For a list of all the events, head to our website, Denver7.com. In Aurora, Allie Jenner, John, Denver 7.